So we start off today's video with this mirror transformation. I can't believe that somebody was gonna throw this thing out. This mirror is absolutely gorgeous. You can see that it definitely has potential. Wow, they didn't even do much to that mirror. They just like brought it home. Really cool. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Design Trend Seeker. If you are new around here, my name is Danielle. And today we will be taking a look at a variety of DIY project ideas and reacting to them. So here we have someone making a Fruit of the Loom notebook out of an old cereal box. Now this is actually a really clever way to recycle. And what's great about this DIY is that there's so many options to making your own notebook. It's so cool. Look at that. It would be something really cute for like your kids too, especially if that's like their favorite cereal. Okay, so we have a BTS inspired DIY. Making like a candle holder. Oh, this is so cool. So she did BTS in the design of the can. And then she's gonna put the candle here. Oh, that is so dope. Oh, I love it. And she did a little bunny. That's a really cute project. So then we have the paper florals made out of old books. Very pretty. She spray painted this. I really like this that she spray painted it. I think it definitely elevated the project. I mean, the ones with just the wording is cool, but I really like it spray painted because you can't even tell like what it was. And I think that's really cool. Oh, oh, wow. I can't tell if this is a stool or a table. Either way, it's really cool. So they used a blanket for the texture, for the fabric. It's gotta be a stool, cause it looks too cozy and comfortable to be like a table. But sometimes you can use stools for a table, just saying. <laughs> oh that's cool and she didn't even have to do the middle one because it's covered by the other ones wow really cool yeah i don't know if that would be sturdy enough to be a table it's like it got like a cute little like mushroom shape oh whoa this is some very expensive headboards $3,000 for a headboard. That is insane. So she is at Joanne Fabrics to make her own smart lady. Oh, they're doing like black velvet too. Oh, actually she's got like three different kind of fabrics here. So now she's at Home Depot picking out the wood. Oh, 
I feel like the idea of making your own headboard is like, <laughs> it's really ambitious, especially if you're like new to DIYing. It's like, oh man, we didn't even get to see what it turned out to be. But yeah, that's a really ambitious project to take on. And we have someone here, it looks like they're making a table. Those stools or whatever she used make for really pretty legs. And then she just cut out like her own funky top out of wood. Very cool idea. Oh, I love the way that this turned out. So simple and chic, very modern. And then we have someone decorating with mirrors. Now, anytime you use mirrors, it's definitely gonna elevate your space. Love this. I like how she put the shelves in the middle. And then we have a house transformation. We got the old 80s style decor here. Ooh. Oh, wow. Everything looks nice and modernized. New kitchen cabinet. Look at the bathroom. See, that's when you move when you move into a space, you have to have a vision for what you're gonna do. Alright, you guys, I hope you enjoyed these DIY project ideas and my reactions to them. If you did, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.